exactly me. Yo, what's up, dudes? Uh, Mark from Wandering Souls. Um, back with another video. Um, not an update, but just uh, something I want to do. Um, you guys probably will remember I did a top 20 albums of um, CDs that got me into black metal. Um, I thought it would be pr pretty obvious I would do the same with death metal, um, so I'm gonna do that right now. Um, not all albums are 100% pure death metal. Um, this is more like what got me into death metal. It is no uh, a particular order. Um, it's uh, the title says top 20, but I mean of course 20 albums. Um, there is no um, chronicle order in that. Um, anyways, I just have a stack of CDs that influenced me to listen to death metal, um, a genre I really like. Um, I like the heavy grunts, the heavy guitars, yeah, the up tempo songs. Uh, Sometimes really groovy. I really like the nasty sound of it. Um, like I said, it's all not pro hundred percent death metal. Some are more melodic uh, stuff um, in that vein, or more experimental sometimes. But um, yeah, I just picked a few. Um, there are tons of other elms uh, that got me into death metal, of course, but. Just to pick some great influences. Um, yeah, just uh, just give it a go. Um, first one I want to mention is of course Morbid Angel. Um, the first album I heard, I think, or was it? Yeah, I think it was this one or Altars of Madness. I don't know for sure, but. Um, I remember I saw this video clip of God of Emptiness and later on there came a clip with, of Rapture and I really adored those songs and I remember Pal buying this album and he couldn't stop, just stop listening to it, awesome stuff, um, talking about Covenant, awesome album, released by Eric Records in 1993. This is an original stuff, no repress uh, here. Amazing album, you can see it's old, it has some already somewhere on the booklet. Um, amazing songs, Rapture, Pain Divine, World of Shit, Vengeance is Mine, uh, Blood on My Hands, um, God of Emptiness of course, this is a great album and um, definitely one of the albums I like the most uh, in death metal genre. Um, this is probably also my favorite do uh, Morbid Angel album, um, yes it is. Um, amazing stuff, really dig this album, Morbid Angel with Covenant, really highly recommendable 1993 release. Next up, um, I got this album actually a bit later, but I heard um, some video clips, uh, I saw some video clips of uh, No Love Lost and the title song, um, you probably already guessed it, this is Hard Work by Carcass, man, man, amazing melodic death metal, um, definitely prefer the early material that's more dirtier but this is, this is an album that got me also into death metal um, original released in 94 I think not exactly sure but it doesn't say anywhere this is quite a repress um, yeah, amazing stuff also got the hard work EP somewhere in upstairs uh, great stuff, I really dig this, great songs like Burr, Dreams, Carnival Force, No Love Lost, Hard Work, uh, This Mortal Coil, uh, yeah, amazing death certificate, amazing album. Um, if you want to go more into melodic death metal, this is a highly, highly, highly recommended, so check this one out, Carcass with Hard Work. And again, another 
melodic, more melodic album. Um, get attracted by this by the song "Blinded by Fear." Amazing video, amazing song. I really like that up tempo, nasty, uh, nasty vocals on it. Um, this is "Slaughter of the Soul" by At the Gates. At the Gates is of course a band from Sweden. Are also released by Eric. <laughs> This one also, this one also, <laughs> some early releases. Um, great stuff. I think this is one of the best albums they have made, and um, straight to the point, melodic where it needs to. Do to what needs to, and I like the crashy vocals. Great stuff at the gates, slaughter of the soul. Next one up is also a bit melodic. This one is released by Nuclear Blast. Um, this is uh, Hypocrisy with Abducted. Amazing album. Really diverse album also, there are some black metal influence, some melodic death, some brutal death, um, different kind of stuff. And this is probably my favorite Hypocrisy album too, or Penetralia, which is more old school death metal. Um, yeah, this is amazing stuff. and. Um, yeah, Russell 47, Killing Art, uh, Buried, Abducted, uh, Point of No Return, great songs. Abducted by Hypocrisy, definitely highly recommended. This album I didn't own um, straight away, I uh, just heard um, a song called War in Paradise on the death metal sampler from Invasion Records if I'm not mistaken and great song War in Paradise really blew me away great song um, this is Vital Remains with Let Us Pray awesome album this album is more old school than the later work, the later work is more pummeling and technical and stuff like that. This is more old school sounding, different lineup. Um, yeah, the main member, Tony Lozaro, is the only one from, mainly from this lineup. But, um, yeah, great album, really enjoyed this, this one. and. Um, can get that out. It's almost the same like the CD. Yeah, amazing stuff. And um, yeah, I, I definitely can highly recommend it. It was originally released in 1992 by Peaceville Records. Um, later on, at least different times they released it. Um, amazing stuff. Definitely highly recommendable. Fight remains with Let Us Pray. Next one up, um, released by Metal Blade. Um, maybe an album you don't expect from me, uh, but um, I pretty adore this one. Um, although I'm not listening to it much anymore, but uh, this is Haunted by Six Feet Under. And this is the album still with Alan West on guitars um, for Obituary, of course, and um, also includes Terry Butler, uh, who's also in Obituary, uh, Death, and some other bands. And of course, Chris Barnes, known from Cannibal Corpse, the earlier work. This is one of the best albums they have released, I think. Um, don't know if is it the best, but um, in my opinion, one of the best. Oh, oh. I don't know what it is, but back then with all the fallout booklets, don't think it's. Anyways, um, pretty good album. 
songs like The Enemy Inside, Silent Violence, Like uh, Lycanthropy, um, Human Targets, Remains of You, Torn to the Bone, great songs. This was a pretty good release, at least after um, Chris Barnes left uh, Cannibal Corpse. I think this was released in 95 or something. Great stuff. Haunted by Six Feet Under. Next up, an album you probably all know Suffocation Pierced From Within. Great album. Released in 1995 by Roadrunner. And this is definitely highly recommendable. One of the albums you must have by Six Feet Under. Um, together with Effigy of the Forgotten. Uh, the EP did after this one, I think. Dying. Um, yeah, anyways, the man doesn't matter. Um, great stuff. Um, one of the best albums, I think. Uh, definitely one of my favorites, um, like production wise. Um, yeah. This is a suffocation piece of from within. Um, let's have a nip of my iced tea. Next one up. Um, Elm show before, but it's a local band. So it doesn't matter. Um, doesn't hurt if I just show it again. This is Profane with Pain. This in '95. I got to know this band by a song they had released on. Um, Sometimes Death is Better compilation CD and um, then I walked into a local record store and saw this one and I definitely thought bye. Um, old school death metal in the vein of uh, Edge of Sanity and that kind of bands. Mixture of bits. Uh, yeah, it's old school sound, Dutch, Swedish uh, sound. Um, Great stuff. Um, definitely can recommend you guys. Uh, I like all the whole EP. I like all great songs. Even the intro is nice on building um, towards the title song, Pain, and then my sadness indulges. You know, it says a sort of um, melancholic sound to it, and then the tempo hanged and God within the mind, which is a nice closure of this EP. Um, great stuff. Definitely um, recommendable if you uh, like the old school death metal pain by Profane. Definitely you can buy this if you find it somewhere. I think this is hard to get now, but um, maybe the band has some copies. If you want to have one, try the band um, themselves. Um, yeah, pain with uh, pain from Profane. Uh, <clears throat> next one up is also a Dutch band. Um, I've almost got all their albums. I'm still missing a, a few, but I will get them eventually. Um, there's some fairs and some festivals come up, and if I find something, I, maybe I'm gonna pick up the albums I miss. Um, anyways. This is Sinister with Bastard Chains, and this is a really nice EP. Um, this is the last one with Mike van Maastricht on vocals. Um, yeah, great stuff. Um, definitely can recommend you this one. DG Pack, of course. Um, released in '96, I think. Uh, great stuff, nice old school death metal, it's a pummeling sound, really heavy, um, nice grunts on it, um, nice songs. Um, they also recorded two old classics, Cross the Sticks and Epoch of Denial from the Cross the Sticks album. They recorded this on this EP, which sounds amazing, better than, better production than the uh, original one of course. Um, yeah, artwork is done by Wes Ben Scooter, if somebody is interested in um, great stuff. 
Sinister with Bastard Saints. Next one up is a compilation. Um, the first things I heard from this band. Um, of course, I have the older albums as well, and I even got a newer, two newer ones. Um, this was a lot. Uh, uh, last release, they for this split up for a long time before they were resurrected again. Um, this is the last release on Road, last release on Roadrunner. This is um, Pestilence with Mind Reflections, and this uh, compiles songs from the latest album. Uh, then the release, of course, um, the older work, of course, and some uh, unreleased stuff like Hateful Within. Um, and six live uh, recordings of the Dyna Dynamo Open Air Festival. Um, yeah, great stuff. Um, released in 1994. Um, nice booklet with pictures and stuff like that. And lyrics. Don't think there are lyrics in it. Best uh, Yeah. Nice story about the band, some uh, album releases, credits and stuff, and pictures. That's what in the book, let's know lyrics, how the fuck I came up on that. Um, <coughs> great release. Uh, eventually it uh, shows a lot of uh, changes in their sound. The beginning as a speed, trashy sound, more death metalish, and later on they were more uh, jazz influences in the bass work and stuff like that. It got more complicated, um, but I still like all the material they have released. Um, yeah, if, if you listen to the albums um, before this compilation, every album is different, but still has um, a kind of sound that think that you think, hey, that's pestilence. So it's great how they do it. Um, Great stuff and mind reflections by Pestilence. Next one up, another Dutch band. Yes, I was on the Dutch band supporting them and stuff like that. This is the first release by official album. Uh, they have released some demos before this one. Uh, Application with um, quite the curious concept. <coughs> Amazing, brutal, technical death metal. Um, Highly recommendable. They're now on Vic Records and I had released a new album last year or the year before. I don't know for sure. Um, both of the Father Souls. Definitely highly recommendable to pick up. But this one is my favorite. Very brutal stuff. Uh, heavy drums. Sick vocals. Fast guitar playing. Amazing stuff. Really humbling and definitely shows this was a band with a lot of potential um, amazing stuff application with the Kellyus concept if you find it go grab it it's amazing if you like brutal stuff <coughs> so check it out next one up is um, an album from a band you don't expect me that I heard this the first but I did because of the video clip of don't care um, I prefer the earlier albums, but this album is pretty. It's pretty good, even even though it's not really um, like uh, slowly we rot or cause of death. But um, <coughs> this is definitely a pretty good album. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, don't care. Um, paralyzing, solid state, final thoughts, skill for me, great songs. Um, this is uh, World Demise by Obituary, <coughs> released by Roadrunner Records in 1994. Here is something different in lyrical wise. Um, yeah, pollution, uh, animal, f animal abuse. Uh, yeah, just more um, themes that go out in the world, what is happening. Um, all the images say enough, I think, on this album. Um, 
Yeah, all done by human uh, humankind. Um, yeah, a bit pessimistic on that, I think, on humans. Um, but yeah, it's a great album. Um, really good job by this band. And still, uh, once in a while, I really enjoy this one. Obituary with World Demise. Next one up um, is released by Relapse Records. Um, this was a really heavy release. Um, this was released in '96, I believe. This is Mortician with Hacked Up for Barbecue. Really classic in the horror death metal sound uh, genre. Um, first official full length by the band, and the first one uh, without a drummer. Um, first EPs and stuff had a drummer, this one doesn't. Um, and it later on became a trend of trademark for this band, the band with the drum computer. Really heavy sounding, thick guitars, really deep vocals by Will Rahmer. Um, great stuff. Um, definitely one of my favorite albums by the band. It includes some classics like um, Embalmed Alive, Cremated, Brutally Mutilated. Um, Blown to Pieces, um, which I have more, Hacked of a Barbecue of course, Negro Cannibal, um, Drilling for Brains, M uh, Mortician, great songs, a lot of songs on it, really short songs that also a bit of trademark, long intros and then some blasting, heavy, heavy deep vocals. Um, yeah, a lot of inspired by uh, by movies, of course, horror movies, and it's also a thing thing you could see. Um, yeah, they're heavily inspired. This album is heavily inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It also uh, counts for a Chainsaw Dismemberment, which was the album after this one. Um, it also really like great stuff, and um, definitely highly recommendable. Human Barbecue by Mortician. <coughs> Next one up is also an album you don't expect from me from this band, so recently, easy. even not death metal at all. Um, it's more grindy, industrial, um, grindcore with an industrial touch to it. Um, they were playing slower on this one, uh, for a few exceptions. Uh, of course, there are some fast songs on this, of course. Um, this is uh, released in 1994 by Eric. Um, this is Napalm Death with Fear, Fear Emptiness, Despair. The first time I heard it uh, was I rent it at the public library uh, when they still really, uh, have, you could hire some CDs to lend, uh, lend some CDs. Um, Yeah, Amir, I like the older albums again, uh, but um, this is the one an album that really got me more into death metal uh, because of the dark, deep sound to it, uh, the grunting vocals from Barney, and uh, yeah, Twist the Night Slowly, Hang, Ever Hung, uh, Plague Rages, More Than Meets the Eye, uh, Armageddon by Seven. Yeah, great stuff. Um, I can remember that I lent it one, I copied it on tape and I played the hell out of it with my friends and uh, really enjoyed this album. Um, glad I have it on CD uh, now and uh, yeah, definitely an album that get, got me, get me back to that period if I, every time I spin it. Great stuff, Fear Emptiness Despair by Napalm Death. Again, that's band. Go Fast with Mind Loss. Amazing death metal. Um, one of the better releases of them, I think. False, I think, is a bit better. I also have that one. Um, but this one I heard earlier. So. 
I chose for this one. Um, amazing songs, Mental Misery, British Tense of Humans, Futile Carnage, Dangling Gore, Confessions of a Serial Killer, Loss of Flesh. Awesome songs. Um, last one in the old lineup. Um, after this lineup, uh, uh, Alex van Strijk and Mark Hogendorn left the band and um, replaced by Ed Warby and Baudelaine Bonebakker. Um, yeah, great stuff. Um, definitely an uh, old school death metal feeling to it. Uh, nice, the deepest vocals on this album, I think. Yeah, the album after this one was also. The albums after the falls, uh, the vocals melt down a bit for some reason. I don't know, um, but this one particularly has the brutal, brutal, most brutal vocals of uh, Young Chris the Queen, I think. So yeah, but this is uh, definitely highly recommendable. Great stuff, produced by Colin Richardson, uh, released by Nuclear Blast. Um, I think this is from 91 original this is a press by Liquid Blast original was released by Foundation 2000 that was it <coughs> this was a release from 1993 by Nuclear Blast uh, when they moved on with the next record to Nuclear Blast they released this one so that's the story um, Core Fest with Mind Loss Next one up, Cryptopsy, Blessing and Made Flesh, re-release for us this version. Um, amazing blasting technical death metal from Canada. Um, but the old lineup, Lord Worm still on vocals, um, from Nye on the uh, drums, um, yeah, great stuff. Um, one of the fastest bands I heard at that time, and it was really sick. Um, the Fenestration and Abicor are very blend blowing, blasting into your face. Great stuff. <coughs> Cryptopsy with Bastion Made Flesh, definitely are recommendable. Uh, together with the album that came after this one, which was. I will come to that later. <coughs> um, Next one up, again an Eerie release. Um, Bull Thrower, Realm of Chaos, Slave to Darkness. Amazing artwork, like the game workshop uh, thing, game, uh, really cool. War theme, death metal, with some groovy touches. And this album is more fast paced than the later work. So, yeah, really liked it when I heard it at somebody else's home. And Definitely got me more into death metal. Um, great stuff, highly recommendable. Realm of Chaos by Bolt Thrower from the UK. And going a bit faster because I know this video is going to be as long, so um, a couple of few left, so I'm almost there. Um, yeah, this one. First album I heard, I think, from this band, or was it The Bleeding? I don't know. This is Cannibal Corpse with the Vile. Amazing stuff. First album with Corpse Grinder on vocals. This is, of course, a special edition which got some bonus tracks, a GG pack, as you guys can see. A booklet. Amazing stuff. Um, yeah, definitely. I heard, saw the a video clip of the four performance sold. So great, a great album. Number five and bye bye. I prefer suffering, disfigured, but lands. Uh, Eaten from the side. The guest devotion. Mother live. Great songs. Definitely a highly recommendable album. I think one of the best with corpse grind in my opinion. Yeah, amazing stuff. Vile. Next one up is Broken Hope. Um, this is a re-release, but um, for me it counts the album Swamped on Gore because uh, also the, uh, contains the album The Bowel of Repugnance. Um, 
from the Gore great album. Um, I heard the song incinerated on a radio show called Bad Girl. Um, it was back in the 90s, 95, 96 or something like that. Um, <coughs> song really blew me away with his brutality, heavy brutal vocals, blasting parts, uh, chic lyrics. Man, it was amazing. This is a re-release of course. Um, but don't mind. Contains the both first albums. They also got a one with the third and the fourth album. Um, I haven't got that album, uh, that version because I got the fourth album separate. So I have to find the third album separate somewhere. Otherwise, I have something double. Um, minor notes, whatever uh, lyrics, pictures, stuff like that. A uh, really brutal stuff. Um, the first one, first band that was. That recorded digital, digital, digitally um, back in 1991. Uh, like I said, the first band that did digitally, uh, digital recording. Um, it was pretty unique for a death metal band. Um, most bands still record analog. Um, but yeah, great stuff, um, great guitar work. Have, Vocals, yeah, it's a pretty sick album. Also, the second album um, has some great sick songs on it. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Broken Hope with something gore. And this is the last one, and this one is obvious Death, Scream, Bloody Gore. Yeah, what can I say about death? Everybody knows him, so don't don't gonna tell too much. It's all obvious. Everybody knows the story. Everybody knows the music. So yeah, definitely are influential influential in death metal world. Screen body gore by death. And that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this awesome album. I think. Yeah, I gotta buy that. Then I did my work properly. Uh, if you got something to say, put it in the comment section. Um, probably I will answer your questions if you have any or whatever. Uh, um, yeah, thank you. Would like thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, um, and hopefully I will see you back with my next video. Um, yeah. Uh, Till next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.